Good morning. It's Friday morning, September the 30th, 2016, last day of September. Been spending this week trying to bring encouragement to you. Uh, we're going to spend a little time in this area. And today I'd like to give you one of my favorite verses about encouragement. It's found in Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. It's a great verse. Pray to encourage your soul today by the power of the Holy Spirit. God promised that his word would not return void. So if you're facing difficulty today or crises or there's trouble or disturbance or distress in your life, I want you to know that God is there, cares about you, and loves you. Here's what it says in Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What a powerful scripture. Now, I want to break this down just briefly this morning. Believing God's going to encourage your heart today. First of all, there are two commands in this scripture. They're very important to hear. Fear not. Don't be afraid. The reason we're not going to be afraid is given us in this scripture. We'll get to that in a moment. Then it says, do not be dismayed. These are two commands. Don't be afraid and don't be dismayed. If fear starts taking over, anxiety starts gripping you, you're going to end up in a place of dismay. Just like want to throw up your hands, throw in the towel, walk away from everything. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Why? Number one, this is a promise of God, for I am with you. Number two, this is a promise of God. I am your God. Listen to this. There's a reason not to be afraid. There's a reason not to let your fear end up in dismay and distress you and, and cause major issues in you in terms of your physical body because you're so anxious about everything. Don't be afraid because I'm with you. Don't be dismayed because I am your God. <clears throat> I love this verse because there are actually five promises in this verse. I've given you two of them. I am with you and I am your God. Now catch the rest of this verse because it's just three promises. It's, it's powerful. It says this, I will strengthen you. That's God speaking to you. I will strengthen you. Listen, God wants to strengthen you right now. Just sit in his presence for a few moments and let the Holy Spirit of God empower you. In these next few moments, I will strengthen you, God's saying. Claim that. Stand on it. Walk in it. That says in the next little phrase, yes, I will help you. Now, whose help do you want? Somebody like myself? Oh, no, not when you can have the help of God. Do you want the government's help? Not when you can have the help of God. There may be great help offered to us by various people, but the best help you'll ever receive in your life is the help of Almighty God. So here's four promises already. I am with you. I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. And then catch the fifth promise. It says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Wow. God's going to undergird us. He's going to be the pillar that we rest upon. I will uphold you. I'll lift you up. I'll carry you. I'll take care of you. I will be with you. I will help you. Oh, wow. Think about this today. Against every trouble you're facing, every trial you're facing, spoiled relationships, broken relationships, anger, angst, and all those things, come to God right now. Come to Jesus right now. Yield to him. Claim his promise. Say, Lord, I believe that you're with me right now. I believe, Lord, that you are my God. I believe your word, Lord, when you said you would help me. I believe your word when you said you would strengthen me. And I believe your word that you are upholding me right now by your righteous right hand. Claim that. Stand on it. Walk in it all day long. Be encouraged in your spirit today. God is with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. You have God on your side. Yea, if God is for us, who can be against us? Heavenly Father, we are in praise and adoration and glory to your mighty name. You are awesome, God. And we claim your promises today. 
and we stand on your commands. We're, we're going to let fear dissipate because we're in your presence. Your word says perfect love casts out all fear. Your love is perfect. Saturate us with your love today. Thank you for it, Lord. Thank you for encouraging everyone who's listening to us today. I pray they'd be built up in their spirit. I pray they'd be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power. They could walk well pleasing in your sight today with all patience, reflecting the glory of God through their life. We praise you for doing it. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you and love you today. Amen. Be encouraged. You're God's child and God is with you and he's holding you up and he's strengthening you and he's helping you. You are blessed because you belong to God. Have a great one today.